Hello guys, you here from Machinaires and it's a long time without posting any video because I was working and I was trying to create something new. Okay, but I don't have something new to show you, but I have some useful tips that I discovered in CAD and Life while I was trying to create something and I want to share with you. Some of these tips you already know, so I will be fast. I will bring a clip for us to play with and the first tip is to use the shortcuts and we have these three main shortcuts here it's for the move tool, the scissor and the spacer tool the scissor is the razor tool, I see the scissor so I say the scissor and these shortcuts is the S for the move, the X for the scissor and the M for the spacer tool and this spacer tool is really cool when you have a lot of assets in your timeline because you can move everything without lose the position of the assets from the right side. You can also use Shift R to cut your clip. You just need to position this guide arm here from the timeline and Shift R to cut, then you move again and Shift R again. Okay, now I don't know why my thumbnail is not appearing, but it's okay. When you start a project, you're probably gonna have lots of assets and some of these clips is really big. If you bring this for the timeline and if it's too big, you cannot see the end of the clip. You need to travel around this timeline and it's not good. You can do your cuts right here on the monitor. Just select the clip. Now you have this timeline here and you have also this blue bar. It's a zone bar and you can for example, for the cutting life, you want to cut your clip right here, so you make this in point, and then you want only this small portion of your clip, so you make an out point, and you have just this piece of your clip, but you have more parts of this clip to edit, and you want to cut all these parts before you go to the timeline. So I'll just select this one, select, and here. On the monitor we already have this small piece so i will click right here in this plus button and we will create a zone in the project pin if you see this arrow right here click here and spend now we have this zone and i keep editing my clip i want this part right here so point in and until here point out plus button and it created a new zone for me and I want also this end part in and out create a new zone now I have all the parts I need from this clip okay I will shift and select everything and bring to the timeline and my clip is already cut it you can't see any change because there is nothing happening in this clip, it's just the grass acting because of the wind. And you can collapse this clip and everything is okay. You know you have this zone clips right inside of this one because you have these yellow bars here where you cut it. And now we have this clip already cut it and we start to add it. So I will bring the transform effect and we want to work here in this timeline from the transform effect. I will create some keyframes to animate it. It's normally what we do, right? Make some changes. Okay, and now we have this animated image. It's not the best animation ever, but it's okay just to test. Now we want this effect to be the same right here in this effect. So what we do, we just copy this one and we paste it. Only the effects in this new piece of clip. Now we have both clips with the same animation, but I want to change this animation. I have some options here to not waste my time. For example, if I want to create a new keyframe here with the same properties of this keyframe, I just select this one and I need to click right here to create a copy of this keyframe but I cannot click in the timeline. I need to click right here down this timeline. And now we have this keyframe selected and 
this new position here in the timeline. So I will just duplicate selected keyframe. Now we have a new keyframe here with the same properties of this keyframe right here. And in this way I can make copies of these keyframes without making any change right here. I just go here, select this one for example and just go here to the timeline and uh, duplicate and I can make also a new one here and duplicate and between this one I want this second version. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to select and duplicate and now we have an entirely new animation. Okay, but I want these three keyframes with the same animation of the last one. How can we do that? We just hold shift and select all these three, hold control, click on this last keyframe and we apply current position value to selected keyframes. Now we can select what do we want to change. I want to change everything. And now all these three keyframes have the same properties of this first one or the last one. And we don't have any change from this one, this one. Okay, and sometimes we want to add a keyframe right beside of this other one. In this clip is very easy because it's a small clip, but when you take a big keyframe like this one, the entire one, and you try to, let's bring the transform, and you try to, to create a keyframe right beside of this one, for example, I create one right here, and to create a new one beside, right beside of this one is really hard. You can use the key arrows in the keyboard. You can also use this blue bar right here, it's a zoom bar. You click right in the end and bring the zoom in, and now we can navigate and see besides of this keyframe. And now it's more easy to create a new one. Same way we can zoom out. Okay, the project is going on and we start to add more effects. I will bring the charcoal to the first clip, but I want this effect to be added only for a small portion of this clip, only for this piece right here. We can animate this one or we can cut a piece of this clip, but all these two options will pollute a little bit our timeline, so we can add this charcoal also to the track you just drag and drop right here and now the entire track has this charcoal effect when we add an effect to the track we have this option right here in the effect where it says use effect zone so we click this one and now we have this purple bar here in the timeline and we just make some adjustments because we just, we just want the effect only for this small portion right here. Now everything is the same in the and, and the effect is added only for this little portion right here. Very fast. Okay, the problem is if you bring a new track and you add a new clip over this one, you don't you do not have the effect anymore. The effect is only for this this track right below this one. If you want this effect to be added to all these tracks, you can use this master track. So we bring this charcoal to the master track and here we have the effect applied to everything. But we just want this effect to be added only in this small portion. We do the same right here. We just enable this use effect zone and we make our adjustment and we can also remove the effect from this other track okay now we have the charcoal effect in this small portion for all these tracks i'm just showing you how you can do with these options right here of course you can do a much better effect. You can, for example, you can, for example, add a color effect. And in this color effect, you can manage all your grade for all your clips and all your tracks in the same time. It's very useful. You can, for example, add, let's remove this charcoal, a curve effect. And in this curve, you can play the colors. And all this affects all your tracks and all your clips in the same time. 
Okay guys, and this one is something that I'm working on and we don't have any light effect. So I create this technique using the chiral gradient. We change this chiral gradient to radial and we go opposite all the way up for the start and for the end and in the end Y we go up. Now we have this ra uh, radial sphere. We change here to multiply in the blend mode and now we have a light effect. I know it's not too much but cutting knife don't have any light effect so this one is working a lot for me. I'm using this in my project and we can animate this one. Let's just let's change the duration for this clip. Make something smaller. Okay, only two seconds. We're back here. Okay, we're going to update the timeline. And now we can animate it this light. I will go to the last keyframe, create a new one. Okay, let's go back to the first keyframe and then and this start X control the X position of this sphere. So we just bring it out and for the last keyframe. We go up and now we have this pendulum animation. And you can also change the color of the light if you want. I just just to show. And you can try this other operation also. It depends on the project you want to try to create. The multiply works fine. And we can also make some try to make some uh, loop animation. For example, let's Create a keyframe here and a new one here and we start here and go to the end and we go back to the beginning. And we go to the start again, almost to the start. Now we can copy this clip and paste it as many times as you want and we have this loop animation of this light it's not perfect but if you make some math you can have a really smooth animation and this is all for today guys uh, i hope you like it i'm planning to bring more tutorials i have more videos being recorded but it's really really hard to create these videos so don't forget to like share and subscribe and also hit the bell so you don't miss the notification of the new videos and i see you in the next video